Our next eminent speaker is somebody who is a manifestation of the blessings of God or God Mighty on our Jamaat. Tariq Ahmed BT Sahib was appointed to the House of Lords earlier this year and now he is known by the title Lord Ahmed of Wimbledon. Lord Ahmed is a conservative peer and his role in the parliament includes to work within foreign affairs and international development and he has recently been appointed the Council of Europe on behalf of the United Kingdom government. We are very proud that a member of our Jamaat has been blessed with this office to undertake responsibilities for our government. I would like to welcome Tariq to the Jalsa Salada and request him to come and say a few words. Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Respected Amir Saab, my dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's indeed a most humbling and poignant moment for me to be standing before you today. Humbling because it is one of the greatest, if not the greatest honor, to be standing in front of just such an august gathering. And in Amir Saab's introduction, it's overwhelming to hear such words, particularly when it at this juncture. Um, on a slightly nicer note, Amir Sahib, this particular annual convention for me has been somewhat strange. I'm normally very much engaged in the organization of this Jalsa Salana, and it is a very strange phenomena suddenly to find yourself being managed and being told where to go, where to come, and to sit down and not get yourself organized. And every now and again I see something, and it's very hard not to say, to someone, can we get that sorted or get this sorted? But nevertheless, it is an absolute humbling experience to be standing before you today. I remember many years ago when I first joined the Conservative Party, and it was 1994, I went to see Hazrat Khalif Dhu Masih Rabe, Rahmullah, and after telling him and informing him of my joining of the Conservative Party, there was a light exchange, at the end of which as I went to leave his office, he said to me, Tariq, there's something else on your mind. What is it? And I said to him, I turned around and I said, in Urdu to Hazur, I said, Hazur, I have entered Conservative Party. He said, Hazur, I have entered into the Conservative Party, but people are teasing me that Tariq has become a Tory. Often did. And then with great love and affection, he raised his right hand and he said, Tariq, go for it. Many years on, as I reflect on those words, and indeed sharing those, I believe Munir Javed, our private secretary at that time, had just entered the room. Again, on a very personal note, it reflected the words, indeed the blessings, of the Khalifa of the time. I have been overwhelmed, as has my family, by the messages of goodwill, pride, love, which have been sent to me, my family, on this particular event. But I also, as many of you know, reflected upon my late father, Chaudhary Mansoor Ahmed Bhitti Sahib. Someone just said to me a few moments ago, he was a man who, when the Jalsa first started, was a man who was regularly seen organizing meals in Ziafat. A man who epitomized the spirit of the Jamaat, which he instilled in his children, of devotion, of dedication, of principle, of perseverance, and ultimately of prayer. And I've said many years when I served in Majlis Khudam al -Amdiya, I had the great honor of serving the Majlis for a period of time. There were three key principles which were instilled in us 
which remain with me today, and I say there are no better reflections for me personally and my siblings, which Daddy always used to say. The first thing, with somewhat Punjabi reference, he used to say, Gila mazboot hona chahiye. That when you stick your stake in the ground, you do it on the basis of principle. Then come what may, rain or shine, you will be steadfast. The second principle was stay close to the Jamaat. Serve the community, serve the Jamaat. Don't become known as one who just attends the odd Eid or Jalsa. Give yourself to the Jamaat and be committed to it. And the third element, my dear brothers and sisters, was to stay true to Khalafat and have a personal relation with the Khalifa of the time. Those were the guiding principles that nurtured to me. And it is indeed a huge privilege and honor and with great humility that I stand before you today as a parliamentarian of the UK Parliament representing the current government. And I am also honored, Amir Saab, in that guise to present to the Jalsa Salana a message on behalf of the Prime Minister of Great Britain, Mr. David Cameron. And he writes that he thanks for receiving his letter of invitation for the Jalsa Salana. And whilst Mr. Cameron cannot attend himself, he did ask me to convey the best wishes of the government to all attending this august convention. And he wrote, I'm delighted to hear about this event, and I'm absolutely delighted also to provide a message of support. I commend the Amdia Muslim Association's commitment to tolerance, to respect, and support for charitable causes. Practical, co practical cooperation within and between faith groups is crucial to big society. It's a big society we all seek to build. It therefore gives me great pleasure on behalf of the government to send my best wishes to all of you. Yours sincerely, David Cameron, Prime Minister. Amir Saab, Jalsa Salana delegates, I seek in conclusion only one thing, and that's your continued prayers, that I in myself may be able to serve the community and my country with devotion, dedication, and ultimate humility. وآخره دعبنا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين. نعم تكبير.